In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We offer this weekend's Masses for the repose of the souls of Robert Gray, Dong Sung, and Yong Sun Gang, Thomas Suk Su Kim, Maria Nam Hee Yun, Stefan Saye, Anita and Virgilio Tan, David Sutton, Tina Dacunto, and for special intentions of Leah Marie, uh, Sister Leah Marie Tuberville. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, and all the... Bring me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant we pray that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. I had a dream and visions as I lay in bed. As I watched in the night visions, I saw one like a son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. And he came to the one who is ancient of days and was presented before him. To him was given dominion and glory and kingship that all peoples, nations and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away. And his kingdom, his kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed, He is girded with strength. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. He has established the world, it shall, shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old, you are from everlasting. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are very secure, holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. A reading from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us, and frees us from our sins by his blood, and made us to be a kingdom, priests serving his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And on this account, all the tribes of the earth will lament. So it is to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. The Lord be with you. Lord, A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Pilate asked Jesus, Are you the King of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. 
What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, So are you a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king, for this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth, to the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Earlier this year, I remember watching this YouTube video of this couple who has been happily married for 50 years. Greg and Gladys, who lives in Australia, um, have maybe been married for 50 years. And eight years ago, unfortunately, Gladys was uh, diagnosed with dementia. So she often doesn't remember who her husband is, and she has no clue who her, who her children are. But despite this, Greg is very, very devoted to his wife, and he loves her very much and takes care of every, uh, every need. Every, every Friday, he will take his wife to uh, get her hair done, making sure that she looks very pretty. And one of the activities they like to do together is to go on a bicycle ride. It's actually a tricycle that he has modified to have uh, Gladys sit in the front in a wheelchair, and they ride together. And they're a very, very cute couple, as, um, as they're ride riding uh, on, on the uh, Gladys' helmet uh, is the tiara. And, um, and as they're going together, and she's very, very, um, very, very personable. She likes to say hi to people. So she likes to wave as, as, uh, as Bill is, as Greg is uh, riding the bicycle. And then little kids who see them together uh, coming will, will go home and tell mom and dad and say, look, 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 the coin's coming. Um, so obviously, everyone, everyone's deeply moved by, um, by Greg and his, and his devotion and his love. One thing that we know about marriage vows is that no matter what happens to any one of them, no matter how circumstances change, they say, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Their yes means, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, uh, rich or poor, no matter what happens and how difficult uh, life gets, saying yes means keeping the promise. One thing that we know about making promises is that uh, making promises is the easy thing to do. It's the keeping, keeping of the promise that is the difficult part. We know time and time and again that um, often when it comes to election time, politicians make all kinds of uh, promises that they don't intend to fulfill. And because we live in a, um, not a direct democracy, but representative democracy, that we elect officials, and these elected officials uh, often, often uh, make policies and laws and promulgate them. And we realize that the end result is, is contrary to what we want. They often um, help themselves and, and their friends. So looking towards the government for leadership has been um, an often uh, you know, heartbreaking failure. But at the same time, often when we look towards the church, sometimes people uh, um, express exactly the same thing. They look towards the bishop to, um, for the leadership and for accountability, and, some, and often that doesn't come. And as a result in the U.S., uh, there's a bishop's uh, general assembly meeting taking place in Baltimore. And it's drawing a lot of crowd. Uh, there are 1,300 protesters basically asking bishops to be responsible um, and show their leadership. We're living in a society that, uh, that is very, very turbulent and uh, ever-changing. It's been observed that, um, that there are decades where nothing seems to happen and there are days where decades seems to happen and I think that's exactly what we're going through. We're going through these uh, tremendous changes um, and something that uh, Archbishop Fulton Sheen had recognized back in 1947. He recognized the world is changing so much and he basically said we're at the end of Christendom, but not the end of Christianity or the church, but the end of economic, political and social life inspired by these Christian principles. 
We are no longer living in a world uh, that is friendly to Christians and Christian ideals. Instead, the world has adopted new dogma, which, according to Archbishop Fulton Sheen, to sum up his, um, his words, are basically three things. Number one, we have devalued our human humanity. Humans' worth has been devalued to what we produce and, and the wealth that we, uh, that we accumulate. And secondly, that we have no need for God because we're naturally good and, and we can do things better apart from God. And number three is that we don't need salvation of souls. We have science and technology. They're going to make us immortal. And so therefore, science and technology will replace God and, uh, and religion. But if, you're th if you think this, is, uh, this has never been done before, we have to, uh, we have to think hard. Because we see time and time again in the scriptures and in the history of humanity as well. Whenever people try to divorce themselves from God, it never ever um, ends well. These changes that we're going through, uh, apart from God, is doomed to fail. Basically, one of, the, uh, um, one of the things that have been observed by a very smart man from the uh, uh, 18th century, uh, 1800s, Alexander Fraser uh, Teitler, who was Scottish lawyer uh, and professor of universal history, and I think he, he gets it right. He basically says, nations have progressed through this sequence, from bondage to spiritual faith, from spiritual faith to great courage, from great courage to liberty, from liberty to abundance, from abundance to self selfishness, from selfishness to apathy, from apathy to dependence, and from dependence back to bondage. What does being in bondage exactly mean? Being enslaved. Because if you think, think of it, that is a currency of slaves. Everything that we own, we don't really, really own it. The banks own it. Everything has been um, purchased through credit card loans and mortgages and all kinds of loans. We have to work hard to pay for the things. And as a result, we don't really, really own it. And if you can come to think of it, countries are literally bankrupt. They're, they have no money to pay the debt, so therefore they're having to print more money, creating them out of thin air to pay for the debt. But the countries are not only financially bankrupt, the countries are also morally bankrupt. In the times like this, we go back in history and we realize the last time um, this kind of... Um, evolution at, at the epic proportion happened was 500 years ago. 500 years ago there's Protestant re revolution, there's pr a price revolution um, which evolved into modern economics, there was a military evolution and te a technological evolution which made um, mass communication possible by printing press. The world that they knew was crumbling before them and a new society was being born. And right at that time Despite all the troubles that people had to experience and uncertainty, look what happened. The church has seen, never seen so many saints coming out of the church. It is because, just as we talked about the marriage vows, God is faithful to us in good times and in bad times. Especially the turbulent, most turbulent times, God is faithful to us. And what God is asking of us is our fidelity to be faithful to Him. You have to remember that each day, we get one day closer to our judgment day. Despite the fact that the society has rejected Jesus and continues to reject his, his disciples, which is us. When we are faithful, one day our Lord will return and He will pick out the faithful from the crowd and give us the eternal reward that we all deserve. So let us ask God today to help us to always be faithful as God himself has sent his son and for Jesus who has been faithful to us. He has shown to us what it means to be faithful. So let us do exactly the same thing by showing him our fidelity through the sacrifices that we make each and every day. Let us profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, 
suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The glory and eternal sovereignty, the Father has established the incarnate Son as King of the universe. Trusting in His power and providence, we bring our needs before Him. That the Catholic Church may continue to draw people into the kingdom, not of this world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That great and powerful nations may reject arms, competition, and conflict to seek true peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who possess nothing in this world may inherit the richness of Christ's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may truly reign, not only in our hearts, but in our society, we pray to the Lord. For our sick, especially Leah Messina, Lily De Carlo, Catherine Thompson, Joan Gibbons, Tony De Gasper, St. Julian Call, we pray to the Lord. That the departed may enter the presence of their Redeemer and reign with him forever, especially Robert Gray, Dong Sang Kang, Yong Sun Gang, Thomas Dok Tzu Kim, Maria Nam Hee Yoon, Stefan Saye, Anita and Virgilio Tan, David Sutton and Tina de Kunto, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Father of our Lord and King, as we pray for the peoples of this world, give each of us the courage to stand loyally to Christ and His Church through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, and our Lord Jesus Christ with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule. He might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be choirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to, those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the fruit of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glory in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thank Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.